Welcome to Kid Funk Presents the Ballantine's True Music Series, an annual project that gives uncompromising artists a platform to share and experience their music. I'm your host, Kid Funk, bringing you exclusive access to the successes, struggles, and creative processes of the industry artists breaking new grounds. And this evening, I'm here in Port Elizabeth, and I'm chatting to two brothers who have been breaking ground with their productions and DJ sets across the country by the names of JM. We'll be in discussion, plus you will have a live mix from them at our party, Kid Funk Presents, the Ballantine's True Music Series. What's happening, fellas? Yo, how is it, man? Good. Please introduce yourself. So together you are a, a music crew, you're a music duo. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're brothers. Yeah. Um, and you live in PE. I've booked you for Johannesburg a few times. The first time I've ever been able to do this in your hometown. Yeah, yeah. How long, how long have you been making music? I mean, you guys are young. Yeah, we've been making music, say, about for... When I was... You have to pass the mic, yeah. When I was 13, yeah. 13? I was 13. How old yeah. are you now? I'm 23. So 10 so. years you guys have been making music. Yeah, 10 So years. your brothers, obviously, you live in the same household. Same household. And you both just get together, make music. Is this like something you've been doing every single day for the past 10 years? Um, not, not really, though, to be honest with you. It's been that we've always been making music. Right. But um, our story started when we lost a close friend of ours. 4-7. Four 4-7, seven. Four seven, right. uh, Neil Munich. So uh, when we lost him, we just decided, like, we're going to take this full force. We, gonna, wow. we ain't going to stop. And that's where everything started. But we've been making music. Like. So I understand 4-7 is a huge part of uh, Pretoria's, Pretoria, excuse me, Port Elizabeth's house music scene. Um, Sin Munich's brother. Yeah. Um, I remember I licensed the song from him uh, for a euphonic compilation at Soul Candy. Yeah. And uh, I sent down a video crew to shoot the video for that. And then we heard the unfortunate passing of him. And it seems to have resonated with a lot of people in your circles here yeah. in, in Port Elizabeth. Um, what did he do that made such an impact on everybody, especially you guys? Um, I don't know if a lot of people know that he was actually our best friend. Okay. So before the music even started on his side, he used to come to our house and we used to fool around, make jokes. And we went to the same high school, same primary school, different high schools, but we've always been in touch. And I think that the thing that makes the most impact from Neil and like, the person that he was. Right. He was a really like a uh, funny person and musically ish. The Amazing. knowledge smart. So if you don't know what we're talking about, it's four seven Jador, the name of the song, which was the, his biggest moment. Yeah. And um seen Munich, who's already very well known across South Africa as his brother. And uh good friends JM. Now yeah. uh after my uh, leaving Soul Candy, I started up my own record label called Stay True Sounds. And I think it was Scene who put me onto you guys and yeah. sent me <laughs> Quibo. Yeah. <laughs> Quibo's a monster. Every single time I come to PE, I have to play Quibo and everybody goes oh. crazy. <laughs> tell, tell me a little bit of a history about that song because not only did that song do well for you, it did well for an uh, uh, up and coming little record label I owned in Johannesburg. Yeah, yeah. Um, basically, the song is actually quite simple. Like, we didn't plan the song. It started like just, we didn't actually like the song at first because it was just a beat and just lay there. So we just like the, how can I say, like the sound in that song gave it its name, Quibo. It's like, a, it's a weird yeah. thing like, behind it, but the song wasn't actually like the way we thought it's going to be big. Like it was just, Put the B there, Kla, finish that song. And that track just got bigger and, and bigger and bigger. Blew up I, pl I played in PE two, three weeks ago and I had to play it. I had a two hour set and, yeah. and I, it <laughs> explodes. Like, um, I think people don't understand. Like, people ask us, where did the name Quibo come from? So, in PE, we have a slang. So, like, the word thing 
we call it bow. <laughs> okay. And then that beat was so quick, we just did it and we didn't know like it's gonna blow up like that. For sure. So and then we just thought, okay, qui bow. <laughs> quick and bow. So, so I think yeah. I think that track kind of solidified you guys as producers yeah. across South Africa. And um, you've had some amazing fortunate moments since then. Um, you don't only produce house, you produce an array of music. You've been yeah. keeping me up to date with your beats. I would say quite selection inspired. Yes. Um, and you've just started a journey with probably one of South Africa's biggest stars, Jay Something. Yes. Yeah. Quickly tell us <laughs> what is going on with JM and Jay Something. <laughs> there's too much. I know there's a lot. There's a, just to try to sum it up in a nice nutshell, like what? Because Jay something is really, really yeah. backing you guys at the moment. Yeah. Um, we actually, we actually spoke yesterday to Zion yes. from Liquid Deep, and we told him he asked us how's Johannesburg and how's everything, and we told him, you know that we never had that day yet where we could process everything that's been happening and that's how i felt when you asked me that question it's like i don't know how to answer you because everything is just it's just happening but if we have to answer you like um regarding our relationship with jay he's like a big brother to us right he's always there he's always he's like our mentor sure so we learn a lot from him he's he has our backs and he believes in us and we're so grateful for that. So thank God though for that. I think, I think more than anything, you guys have been able to stay true to your journey. Yeah. Um, I, I remember playing Jay something, your EP for the first time at my house and he freaked out and I was like, they're from PE. And he was like, no, these guys are from my hometown. <laughs> and there was just this connection. Yeah. And like, he's really put you guys on board. I know that he's, you're making beats for him cons constantly. Yeah. You guys are producing, you put out an EP on his own record label called The Beat Club. Yes. There's just big things happening in your life, which I think is really incredible. I think it's very, very exciting for you. But uh, we're gonna have to wrap things up. I just need to ask you one thing. You can you can answer this. <laughs> you can answer this one. Um, we're doing a collaboration with Kid Funk Presents with uh, the amazing artist Felipe Pantone, as you can see in the background. So yeah. these visuals are going to accompany your set tonight. So as you play, yeah, the in, the visuals will move. Have you have Yo, you ever played in this sort of environment? Nah, it's first time actually. First, first time. time. So, so excited. It should be fun. Yeah, it's it gonna be, be good. It what, be what, what, what are we gonna hear from you guys tonight? Because not only are we doing the interview, we're actually gonna re-record your whole DJ set tonight. So you aren't after Vinny. Yeah. That's a big thing, eh? Yeah. Vinny's the done. Yeah. We feel on it, we feel on it, we feel. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um tonight is just basically the new EP what we will showcase to the people and JM the JM sound, which is anything. You can't expect the Pacific sound, so all over be, the place. Yeah. Amazing. Thank yeah. you guys so much for for coming through. And I'm so happy that I can host you in your hometown. Yeah, it's, it's yeah? amazing. Thank you amazing. so much. It's gone full Thank circle. You. Yeah. Dope. So, Thanks, gents. Thank Thanks for listening to Kid Funk Presents the Ballantine's True Music Series. Make sure you tune in for the next session with me and other industry artists who stay true. For more on the True Music series, check out the Ballantine site or follow Ballantine's essay on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. For more on the Kid Funk Presents the Ballantine's True Music series, check out Kid Funk on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and any other social media platform. So let me tell you the power of this music. It's what I live for. It's a connection. <laughs> It's positive energy. You ready for the ride? I'll see you in the queue. Google, Ogo Fana Nalom Lingani. This sound is worth fighting for. We hear you people. We're standing up for true music. Not for persons under the age of 18. Enjoy responsibly.
Down to the old phone. Hey. It's our city, yeah, that's where we come from. We be from the north side. Don't forget where you come from. We came from nothing, but we built something. Four seven on our sleeve. Four seven, four seven. September street to the death of me. Yeah, yeah everything yeah. we do, he sees. Superpowers. Superpowers. Welcome to the one The land of fun, the land of dreams, the concrete jungle. Welcome to the one The land of fun, the land of dreams, the concrete jungle. Welcome to the I just want to wish my boys, Jay and all of the best in Joburg on their journey to further their music career. Thank you. 
love your energy, your vibe is strong We love the way you look when lights go Thank you. 
feliz Eu só sei que eu perdi de estar Agora ir pra minha vida inteira
Você é meu amor, minha mulher Você é a minha flor, minha paixão Veja a minha luz, é o meu poema É o meu docinho, o que sabe I just wanna